Hey there, friends. I'm gonna make another abstract art journal page today. And I just made this uh, little notebook into a removable page notebook. And I love how easy this process is because I start by picking a few color paints that I like and then I just don't even know what I'm doing. I don't have any plan. I just start putting paint on paper and then I figure I try to use up my whole blob of paint, so I keep going until I run out of it. Hey, how are you digging that? elevator music. <laughs> so I had this friend a while back that was from the Netherlands and she had the greatest sense of style and she dressed her kids in the cutest clothes and as I was using these colors it reminded me of her because um, this banana yellow and turquoise and orange seems like I just remember her having cute little outfits that were these colors. So if you're from the Netherlands maybe you can verify if they're very popular colors in the Netherlands. <laughs> So I've started adding black and white swatches. Um, I'm a big Elisa Burke fan. Her, her artwork always catches my eye when I'm on Pinterest or YouTube. Um, I'll link her YouTube channel below. And she'll often do create some big swatches of black and white um, to um, make contrast just pop out with her against her color background. So I've been watching a lot of her videos and getting inspiration from her. So this is a design element, a pattern that I borrowed from Elisa Burke as well. I like these little triangles filling in the kind of the downward triangles with white. Um, I believe that all inspiration is fair game. When we see patterns or things that we, we like in other people's work, I think it's the highest form of flattery is, is imitation. And that's how we learn. That's how children learn as they grow up. And so when we're getting our wings and um, you know, trying to learn how to ride a bike. Sometimes the training wheels are just looking at something that we like in other people's work and saying, hmm, I could try that. Um, yeah, so right here, um, I did not like the way that that line just went through. I didn't really think that through. So to kind of cover it up, I did that. Yeah, but as I was saying, um, you know, as long as we're not replicating exactly or profiting off of somebody else's um, art, then I think we just give them credit. So I never know whether I should point out the things that I don't like <laughs> about my pages because I don't really want to draw attention to them, but I know that you're watching this because you want to learn and um, or maybe just for entertainment but um, there's always elements that I get really excited about that I like and sometimes I'm like uh eh, didn't really love that so like as I outlined some of the um, boundaries in black it made kind of just a weird composition around that black center piece and that's I call distorted butterfly <laughs> didn't really May mean to make it a distorted butterfly but that's kind of what it's turned into um so i can't say that compositionally this is my favorite piece but um when we when we make art like that it's okay where i i had fun making it and i can look back and go okay why why did i not love this as, as well as some other pages and what were some of the elements that maybe I could just kind of be on the on the lookout for next time and um, maybe be more intentional about it's kind of a, a weird balance when you're working with abstract art and trying to just art journal for the process sake where you don't want to overthink it you want to follow your intuition but you also want to be 
able to look back at it when you're done and smile and be happy and feel like, ah, I like that. So, you know, I think that'll probably be an endeavor that we'll all grow in as we continue to express our creativity. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed my process video. I have several more. I think this is number 12. So I hope you come back and hang out with me some more. Until then, go make some art.